I'm on the island of Kauai, and today I'm going to take you on a little adventure. Actually, it's a big adventure. We're going to get as close as we can get to the wettest spot on Earth. This is pretty difficult. The, the footing is kind of tough, but the water's warm, and I don't think there's anything in this water that would eat me. The central volcano of this island, called Mount Waialili, more rain falls at the summit of that mountain than anywhere else. As predicted in the wettest place on Earth, the rains have come. We're getting closer to the mountain. Now this is not a four-wheel drive vehicle. This is just an ordinary rental car, but I deliberately got a full-size rental car knowing that I might drive this road. It's very rugged. Now we can't exactly get to the summit itself, but we can get pretty close. We can get into the crater, the caldera of the volcano, to a secret place called the Blue Hole. We're heading into the heart of the jungle. As we get closer to the mountain, there's more rain, there's more water. The brush gets denser, the roads get rougher, the, there's puddles that get deeper and deeper. We're going into the heart of darkness. Seriously, don't try this at home. Uh, I'm kind of a professional or a professional fool. I've been on this road several times and I've done a lot of off-road driving in Nevada. So, don't do what I do. Okay, this is as far as we can get in the ordinary car. And frankly, I shouldn't have gone this far at all with this car. That's a very gnarly four-wheel drive road. We had to ford some streams. We had to go through some very rugged gullies. Uh, through potholes and things. I had to negotiate very carefully so as to not hurt the undercarriage of this car. But we made it. We, we got up as, about as far as anyone, even a four-wheel drive, can go. We're going to hike a little bit further up this road. We're going to go up, up into, the, into the bowl of the mountain. And there we'll take some trails and see how, how close we can actually get to the mountain itself. We actually see a little bit of the mountain peeking through the clouds. You can see some waterfalls coming down off the cliffs out there, but we can't see the summit of the mountain itself because it's shrouded in clouds, and that's the trouble with the world's rainiest place. There's always clouds covering it. I'm heading off now for the second part of my journey, which is on foot along this narrow road, which will eventually turn into trail, and the trail will vanish into a river. I'm looking for the mythical Blue Hole, a great place of waterfalls that's supposedly at the base of this mountain. 